A friend of mine asked me to help them with their car finance as they were looking to refinance and they didn't want to get ripped off. So I discovered Car Moolah, which is actually a really interesting concept and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride with me. For those of you who don't know, Carmula specialise in car finance and in particular Carmula caught my eye because of what they were aiming to do. Traditionally, our view of car finance is pretty negative. You head to the dealers, you find your new car, and the salesman is trying to drag you into a finance commitment you don't want, at a shocking APR. Even when you try and pay cash, they still want you to do finance. The reason, of course, is they make so much commission from it. They're paid really high rates when you take out finance, which is the reason you see such high APRs. And it's all passed on to us, the customer, we hate being sold to, and let's face it, it's a waste of time and their technology is pretty outdated and pretty crap. Now, Carmula turns this on its head because it empowers you to be the one calling the shots. You use the app to work out how much you want to borrow and you can see exactly how much it will cost and work out your budget. So then you can walk into the dealership with it already sorted at a much better rate. And you can pay with their virtual cards so you can essentially completely cut out the middleman, which makes the whole process so much more efficient. There's a few really cool features like a free vehicle check to check the car's history and mileage, and if there's any outstanding finance, which can really give you that peace of mind. I also saw that they're about to bring out discounts on the rates available if you choose to go for a more eco-friendly car, which I really like. As the environment is so important and taking the plunge into electric is a bit of an investment. Car finance can be quite a useful tool because you can leverage it to spread the cost of payments, making it far more affordable. Which, at the moment, with the cost of living crisis, a lot of people won't have the cash available to just buy a car outright. But what I thought was even better was that anyone can switch to Carmula. For example, perhaps you were sold a car finance at dealership with a super high rate a year or two ago. It's definitely worth seeing if you can get a better deal with Carmula and save yourself some cash. So I'm going to run through the entire sign up process and let you know my honest thoughts. Okay, so here's the dashboard. Now at this point, I've already gone through the basic sign up process, which is just your name and email address. And I've also enabled Face ID, so it's super secure. So hey Chris, if you wanna go and take a ride with me. So buy or refinance in three easy steps. So first you need to get your budget. So let's go for that. So what would I like to do with my next budget? Buy my next car or refinance my own car? Well, for the purpose of this, I'm actually going to try and go through the process of buying a car. So I found this car on Cinch, which I'm gonna use as a model for this process. And it's a Ford Focus. It's a couple of years old, which will save me that initial showroom cost. The mileage is 13,054 miles. Typically I would go for a higher mileage to try and bring the cost down. But for the purpose of this, this will do just fine. I can see it's in a nice red colour, it's petrol and it's manual, and the cost to buy this in full is £14,400. So let's go back into Carmula and use it as an example. Let's find out your budget. It usually takes less than two minutes. So they're going to ask me a couple of easy questions. They'll run a soft credit check to make sure I've got an okay credit rating and we'll work out an affordable budget for your next car. Cool, let's go for it. So let's get started. So what's your title? Chris Palmer. Birthday, cool. So 24th of the 8th, 1989. Then I need to put in my monthly income. So for the purpose of this after tax, let's put 3,500, that suits. Who pays the bills? It's me, that's no problem. Childcare, which costs childcare? Zero at the moment. And cool, my monthly car costs, nothing commuting, all done. That was easy. I really like how there's a little car across the top so it kind of tracks my progress. We need a little more to verify your income. Okay, so let's get started and connect my bank account. So they can check how much I have been paid. Okay, so I've just connected my bank account. I was actually able to connect directly to Santander. That's just to verify you're actually earning the money that you say you are. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, there's an option to send in some bank statements. So that could also be an option. So I've just done that and here is what I see. So I see here's my Carmula plan. So I can borrow up to 35,000 a year, maximum length being 60 months. And that works out at 766 pound a month at 11.9% APR. Now, obviously I don't need that much. It's only 14,400. So let's decrease that amount. So I can reduce that down to 14,500. Contract length is 60 months. I've got the option to change that if I want to. That comes out at 317 pound an 11.8% APR, which is pretty reasonable. I can actually choose to decrease that contract length if I want to, but of course my monthly payment's gonna go up depending on how long I want to keep that for. But it's really nice that this gives you the flexibility to actually choose how long you wanna have it for and shows you exactly what it's going to cost. Of course, its offer is subject to a final approval, but you can go down and see the full plan details. So let's say I'm gonna keep it over the 60 months. I've got a fixed interest rate of 11.8%. Fixed is great, so I know it's not gonna change. 
59 payments of 317, a final payment of 318, and it shows me the total cost of the credit will be 4,500, and the total payment is 19,021. So essentially, for the benefit of paying monthly, it's costing me 4,500, but that's over five years. So 4,500 divided by five is actually pretty reasonable to spread the cost. So let's go continue. So next, I need to verify my identity. Let's go ahead and do that. Usually takes two minutes. You'll need your full driving license for this part, the original copy, that's no problem. Lastly, do a selfie, no problem. Let's get started. So I take a lovely picture of my ID. Okay, I've got to record a video. Enable microphone, let's go. Okay, keep your face within the oval to start recording. Turn my head and face forward. Say out loud, 883. Finish recording. Upload video. Brilliant, so it's just definitely making sure that I'm Chris Palmer. <laughs> That's cool. I think the whole process seems so easy and interactive. I really like that. So this should only take a couple of minutes. Let's let that run. Fantastic, looking gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Let's check out your new car. So that's really good. So this will actually check out the car to make sure it's okay. So let's get started. Okay, so tell us about the new car. So let's go back to the car that I found. 13,054 miles and the price is 14,400. And let's press check car. Who buying from? Where am I buying it from? Let's cinch, that's nice and easy. Check my car. Running HPI check, this one's super fast, blink and you will miss it. Cool. Check the details of the car you're buying. Ford Focus, February fuel, five door, it's red, low CO2 emissions, that's always good. Current estimated value is actually 15,290, but the price I'm paying is 14,400. So I'm actually getting a pretty good deal. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I can see the MOT is valid until the 19th of August. Annual road tax is 165 pound. I can see the insurance group, 12 out of 50, that's pretty cool. And I can see previous keepers was only one. That's nice. Oh, and there's some important checks it's gone through here. So I can see no color changes, no mileage clocking. That's important. No mileage discrepancies, no outstanding finance, no plate changes, no third party interest, not imported or exported, not marked as stolen, not scrapped and not written off. So that's pretty damn cool. Let's save this car. Ooh, now it's time to name my ride. Nelly. Ooh, I like Nelly. Let's go for that girl's name. Let's call her Nelly. Why not? Little red Nelly. Tap the spinners to change the name. No, I like Nelly. Let's go to payment plan. Okay, so that's good. So now I'll put the car in. It actually adjusts the original plan to 14,400. So that's good. So let's save that. You've completed all three steps. So they're just running some final checks. That's cool. I could choose to speed things up because um, that process was super fast. So why use Carmula better rates we don't pay commission and we pass on those savings to you no hassle so there's no paperwork no faff no pressure just a few simple steps in the app speedy checkout find the right car with Camula, you're ready to buy in an instant and there's some more information down here so my rights so i can read through these i've got my obligations okay and i can talk about missed payments what happens there that's all very important to see and that's nice and simple so i can check here so i've got the home page i've got the car page i can see little red nelly there that's pretty cool okay and i can search for approved dealerships there that's also good what makes a great dealership fca regulated trading for one to 12 months a valid website and positive ratings from customers Customers. So that's quite handy. So if I was to search, so let's just search for say, let's go for Chester and then it will actually show me garages in Chester that it thinks are good options. And there's absolutely loads of them in there. <laughs> cool. That's really handy. Nice feature to add to the app. Or if I'm buying online, I can see the approved websites. So this recommends some websites that I can buy from. Also very nice. And I recognize some of these others. I think affordable cars is one I bought off before too. And then I've got this card. So, oh, that's really interesting. So this is where I get my own little card. And this is a card I can actually go in and I can pay with. So as far as the dealer knows, I'm pretty much just paying with cash. They don't know any difference. So that's really good. So it actually gives me the options here. I can pay by bank transfer or I can choose to use a card details and pay online, which is their recommended one. That's cool. So I've got the final page here, which will actually show me my plan and help me manage it once I've actually taken it out. And that is virtually it, which is shockingly simple. <laughs> so overall, I think I've been super impressed with the Carmula app. It's amazing how this technology actually enables you to have the power and how easily it is to do. And it's so nice that you can just go into the dealership and you've already got it all sorted and you haven't got the hassle of feeling pressured and pestered. I kind of just sitting there for a couple of hours with them waiting to see what the 
damage is going to be. It's all just transparently laid out for you, which I was really impressed with. The design's super cool, it's a really nice app, and it really feels like they're with you to guide you and help you on the journey. If anyone asks me about car finance, I will definitely be pointing them in the direction of Car Moolah. I hope this walkthrough has been helpful and showed you exactly how it works, and shows you that car finance doesn't have to be a scary process. Thanks for watching this, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below.